Good evening, and welcome to our Wednesday evening prayer on this October 11th. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. A reading of portions of Psalm 19. Remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. The arrogant mock me unmercifully, but I do not turn from your law. I remember, Lord, your ancient laws, and I find comfort in them. Indignation grips me because of the wicked who have forsaken your law. Your decrees are the theme of my song wherever I lodge. In the night, Lord, I remember your name, that I might keep your law. This has been my practice. I obey your precepts. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. In that day, the Lord will punish with his sword, his fierce, great, and powerful sword, Leviathan, the gliding serpent, Leviathan, the cooling serpent. He will slay the monster of the sea. In that day, sing about a fruitful vineyard. I, the Lord, will watch over it. I water, water it continually. I guard it day and night so that no one will harm it. I am not angry. If only there were briars and thorns confronting me, I would march against them in battle. I would set them all on fire. Let them make peace with me. In the days to come, Jacob will take root. Israel will bud and blossom and fill all the world with fruit. The word of the Lord. The Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading of the Gospel according to Mark. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and asked Jesus, how is it that John's disciples and the disciples mm -hmm. of the Pharisees are fasting, but not yours? Jesus answered, how can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? They cannot, so long as they have him with them. But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, and on that day they will fast. 
No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth with an old garment. Otherwise, the new piece will pull away from the old, making the tear worse. And no one who pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins. And both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. The word of the Lord. Jesus is saying that food mm -hmm. may fill our stomachs, but it will never fill their souls. He had just fed 5,000 folks with five loaves and two fish. However, they were still hungry and followed after him. Jesus had satisfied their hunger, their hunger for food, but now he tells them what they really need is food for their souls. Jesus has come as the new wine. He came to introduce the new, not to patch up the old. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage be that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Matthias and all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. The Collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us, the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things which our conscience is afraid, and in giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and meditation of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Peace Most Holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. A collect for aid against perils. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy. Defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For the love 
of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And for all your love's sake, amen. This evening we ask for strength and healing, especially for Rob, Harry, Roberta, O.T., Allison, Robert, Sandra, Jameson, Cherie, Mike, John, Aaron, Juan, Ty, Eric, Hector, Angelique, Ronald, Michael, Lacey, Stacy, Steve, Roberta, Carmen, Bob. And let us take a few moments so you can add your own prayers and intercessions. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 